Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have another Heathkit SB200. Belongs to him, radio operator. So, I'm going to go through the amplifier like I do with all the others. Needs a new output rotary switch. 10 meter contacts on one side of the switch are completely blown off. So I'll change that out, I'll take it all apart, get at that, take that out. As you can see, one of the grid loading resistors is blown apart. So I'll change both of these out with new 33 ohm 2 watt Allen Bradley carbon comp resistors. Also change the silver dip mica capacitors. I always change those, one per socket. I will gently compress all of the clips for the socket, for each socket, and also clean them with deoxid gold. He wants me to get rid of the RCA jack for the input and put an SO239, so I'll do that. I already checked the output one, that's good. Someone already put in the Harbach filter cap board, and that's all set. Someone actually used like spade connectors, and they're loose. So I'm going to clip those and I'll solder them like they should be. They should be soldered to these circuit breakers. I'm going to put in meter protection diodes, new meter lamp. Change these two capacitors here. Someone already changed the TR relay. It's the proper impedance, so that's good. I'll oil the fan. Check the value of that resistor. It's good, and that resistor. So, clean the other rotary switch, and for the input, I'll clean this rotary switch, deoxid gold, and uh, I'll be back. I'll show you what I did. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, I'm back. 203-892-4119, AmpRepairGuy.com. Here's the old rotary switch. You can see multiple blown-up contacts, blown-apart contacts. It's actually worse than I thought. goes to show you it's hard to tell with it in the amp. So, waiting on one electrolytic. But everything else is all set. I'm just waiting, also waiting on the new set of tubes, and then I'll fine tune the inputs to the best I can get them. Um, and then uh, be all good. So, I'm going to show you a shortcut in changing this rotary switch. You know, normally, you have to like undo all of this and then take the screws out of the input rotary switch and then pull it out and be able to twist it. This whole shaft has to come out. There's a nut in the front and it comes out and you have to carefully angle it up, pull it out. So what I do is I cut the shaft and I use a coupler to reconnect it. This is the shaft that couples the output rotary switches to the input rotary switch. I carefully unsolder everything off this coil, multiple coil form. And then I'll take the screw out on this side, on this standoff side the coil and then you take this one out over here and then you pull this coil out. So by cutting that and then taking these two nuts off right here there's a nut like a split washer lock split washer then a fiber nut that allows me to pull that shaft once everything's on soldered you want to take pictures you know where everything goes that allows you to slide that rotary switch off and then you just use a standard quarter inch shaft coupler to couple them together makes it easier. And then if you ever have to do it again, which hopefully you don't, you don't have to go through the whole mess. So I ended up changing the parasitic suppressors, brand new carbon comp, 50 ohm, 2 watt, Allen Bradley's, the new plate blocking capacitor, High Energy Corporation. Air variables look good. I ended up taking those spade type connectors off and I'm glad I did because it looked like whoever put them on crimped them right over the wire and they didn't clean the wire first and there was some tarnish on the wire. It's a green color. Not bad, but there was a layer of it. So I cut those off, stripped it back, cleaned the conductors, and then soldered them. So they're good. Put some reverse connected diodes across the, the meter. To the bottom. Customer didn't think that an SO239 would fit, but there we go. SO, brand new SO239 for the input. 
connected nice nice cap nuts 632 screws put that new cap in just waiting on that one I'll swap that out touched up on some bad solder joints clean this input rotary switch change the grid loading resistors new 2 watt Allen Bradley carbon comp also change the mic silver dip mica cap from the grid to ground compressed all the clips clean them with deoxid gold check the other values of the other resistors they're all good oiled the fan motor now this thing's good to go test it for output that should be good thanks for watching 203 892 4119 that's amp repair guy dot com. Thanks for watching.